Hello guys, what's going on? Lewis the Pan here, and we are back with another Clash Clans video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about a war that happened a couple days ago, and it's pretty interesting how it turned out. So, let's go into the war log over here, right over here, and click details. And as you can see guys, YouTube general did a 50 versus 50 war, and we managed to win 150 to 19. 100% to 10.6%. So, you may be thinking that's pretty weird. I'm going to get into why that was in a moment. They are also a level 17 clan, so you, you would expect them to be pretty good, but they only got 19 stars. So, let's move over here. We did first start all our bases, guys. We did get a perfect reward, that's why we got 100%. And let's have a look at our top base. So, we move into the scout button. As you can see, guys, it is not a proper base. It is a farming base. And if we just move down the line, down to number two, again, another farming base. And number three, they're all the same, all are farming bases, right the way down to number 50. So, it was a pretty easy war, and we're going to go ahead and look at their description real quickly. Now, in the description, it should say FWA. Now, that stands for Farming War Alliance. Now, what it basically means is me and a couple of people put their town halls outside, because I'm number one. You put your town hall outside, like I did on my base over here, and your storages next to them. And they basically attack you, get the loot. We get the win and they get the loot. So that is pretty much what it is. Now me and Raman did put our town halls outside in this one. And you know just a pretty simple way of doing the war. Just they, we put our town halls outside. We get attacked. And as you can see guys I got attacked 22 times. Raman got attacked 15 times. And that's pretty much it. But let's move on over to their side. So because they did have loads of farming bases. We didn't need to use more than one hit on each base. And we did decide to all attack number one after we got the perfect core, just for loot. Swagging spells on this base just because we really don't need to use them. It was only like a tunnel away with a farming base. And we only had tunnel nines above hitting in this war. So it wasn't really needed to hit this base more than once. If we go down the list over here, you see like one, one, one. All the bases hit one time pretty much. And yeah, so then we move up to the final base number one. And if we have a look at the top guys, you can see there 36 times. We attacked number one 36 times. <laughs> now, the reason we did this is because we did want loot and we had cleared all the bases and we also had like 40 attacks left. So we all decided let's attack number one to try and get some loot and just get as much loot as we can to help with the Town Hall 12 update and max out everyone's new bases with all the new upgrades and stuff in the game. So let's just go in and have a look at my attack on number one. I did attack number one first because we did do mirrors in this war. And if you don't know what mirrors it means, it's basically where my number, which is number one, as you see in the top right, attacks their number one because it is the same number. So I start off by dropping some wizards over here with some goblins just to clean out the eagle artillery and the storage is really quick. And then we drop some balloons down here. They didn't fall to CCs either, which is nice and which obviously helps us freestyle pretty easy. And that is the aim of the game. So we drop some balloons down there just to finish it off. And then we go with a lot of troops over here with our warden ability. And the queen, and we drop our king up here just to finish off the town hall. So we just easily get the free star here, and everyone else did pretty much the same. And we hit number one 36 times, guys. So let me know is that the most times you've ever seen someone be attacked in a war? I know it is for me, and that's pretty awesome. The first 50 v 50 war we have done in quite a while. We come up against a farmer clan, and number one gets hit 36 times, guys. So that's pretty awesome. Let me know guys down below, is that the most defences you've ever seen in a war? And also guys, let me know how many defences have you got as your highest? So I know my highest defences is probably this one where I was hit, attacked 22 times and that's pretty awesome and I'm excited to see what you guys think and how many times have you been attacked, let me know. So, obviously we're not really going to show many replays in this because they are only a farming clan, like if we go to number 22, it is only a farming race so it's not really that interesting. Just using some miners on this one, for example. Just easily gonna clean out the base and just grab the free star for YouTube general. So now we've seen that, guys. We did win by 131 stars. Obviously, not really a contest. Got two million gold, two million elixir, and and 11,000 dark elixir. So that's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and go for an attack. So we do have pretty much everything ready. Let's just request for that and go for an attack. The clan games. We need to get one star with. Let's see. One star with 10 giants and we get 300 points. So that's pretty easy. We have completed the clan games already. And we're going to be getting a ton of awesome rewards such as Dark Licks are here. We're going to be taking that. Probably going to be taking the wall rings. Probably going to be taking 
Hmm, that's not... Can we even hold 21,000 dock clicks? Let me have a look at that real quick. Dock clicks are going to here. Yeah, okay, so we can hold 27,000. So we're going to be taking the dock clicks, then the war rings, then the gold, then the book of building, I believe. I can't really see it in a minute because the giants have just commenced. Thank you for them. So yeah, then we're going to be taking the book of building and the book of heroes and then the dark elixir. Okay, so we already have a book of heroes, but we also have quite a lot of dark elixir. I'm going to be upgrading our queen once we get a new builder, which will be in 6 hours and 41 minutes. That's also when we unlock our electro dragon, so we are definitely going to be making a video on them in the future. And they are going to be pretty awesome. We are also in a war right now. This is a GGWL war, which is a league war, guys. And we are going to be covering this on the channel. After it does happen, we are going to be covering the result and to see some awesome free star attacks from both teams. So yeah, the breakdown for this war is 3 Town Hall 12s, 2 Town Hall 11s, 5 Town Hall 10s and 5 Town Hall 9s. So it should be pretty cool to see who can win this war and who comes out on top. So we have got our troops, let's go ahead and go into an attack. So guys, we have landed on this base, didn't take too long, I believe one or two searches. And we're going to go for this base because there is a lot of dark clicks in here. 5,000 just in storage alone and then we're going to go ahead and try and grab some funny loot bonus as well So we need 70% to get that and obviously we need 200,000 dog clicks to level up our queen to level 51 Then use the book of heroes just in time before clan game So we have a spam army here and we have giants in the CC. No siege machine is one This guy is upgrading to town 12 level 2 I believe that is I'm not too sure I can't yeah because it's level 1 there you guys see the 1 on the side So he is going to level 2 so that's pretty awesome and let's go ahead with some spam just along the side to try and grab this Dark Elixir storage and see if we can do some damage in this base. So, Giants, Bolas and Witches moving around. We're just going to drop all our troops in here. Go for an early jump and let's drop another jump right here. Early Rage and we don't have a heal spell. I did request for a heal but apparently we don't have one. Not too sure what happened there. Going to pop the Wardens ability quite early because there is that Bomb Tower and that Multi-Target in front of is going to do some damage. So, we are looking pretty good here. Poison on the Giants. Gonna go for another rage in the core just to try and move the troops along. We did get the dark and we're gonna go with our final rage up top to grab this eagle artillery and a couple more defenses. So we need to get this remaining dark elixir. Some of it's gonna be in the town hall, some's gonna be in the CC, and we should get most of it as soon as the CC goes down. 454 left in the raid. That's all gonna be up here, which I don't believe we're gonna be able to get. Actually, we might we might actually freestyle this base, guys. We have a ton of giants, bowlers, and witches. No, actually, we didn't have no giants left. We just have witches and bowlers moving around the outside. Still have the queen. Still have the queen's ability. And we might be able to get this warden is also up as well. No more splash damage in the base path from this mortar. And the bomb tower up here. And there might be some giant bombs which could mess up our raid. But it looks like we're going to be able to get it. We have five, six witches left, I believe. And they are all inside the base. Apart from this one, this one's doing its own thing around the outside. But it does look like we are going to be able to get a free star. In this attack, so that's pretty awesome. We are going to get a maximum loot bonus for this. I'm not sure if we're going to get a star bonus, but we are also going to complete the clan games and get quite a lot of dark clicks out from this attack. So, one, uh, so Queen's ability is going to be used now. There is a giant bomb. Wow, it's going to do a lot of damage, killing almost all our bolas. Another giant bomb there, killing almost all our queen. And the queen's actually going to go down. That's pretty unlucky there. But we are managing to get this free star anyway. We have a ton of witches left up. And there goes the free star guys. So that's pretty awesome. Let's see how much gold we got. So about 500,000 K gold. That's pretty awesome. 630 K elixir. And we did get a ton of dark elixir as well. 7,400 dark elixir as well. That's pretty awesome guys. And the army didn't cost too much. Because it is an event going on right now. Where it makes everything cheaper. We also completed our clan games. Up here. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's take a challenge for the future. So let's go for... Hmm, let's see. Let's just do a giant one again because we are using a giant army. And it looks like we are going to manage to get this. They ended three days, 12 hours, so that's pretty awesome. And that is where we're going to end today's video, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see some more awesome videos, make sure to hit the notification bell. And make sure to subscribe for some content coming to the channel soon, including Electro Dragons and League Wars, which we're going to be featuring on the channel. So see you next time, guys. Peace out.